instrumentation. The challenge of educational measurement. Many of the constructs we're interested in measuring are buried inside the individual and therefore it makes it hard to ascertain exactly what their current state is. Measurement depends on transforming these internal states, events, capabilities into something that is observable. Making them observable, however, may alter the thing that we are actually measuring. The constructs are generally internal, especially in constructivist and cognitive theoretical frameworks. On the other hand, behaviorism is, attract is an attractive theoretical framework for some because these internal states don't matter. Some examples of measurement methods include tests, questionnaires, and observations. Quantitative research is all about measurable findings, but so is the real world. Don't you go look at reviews such as Google searching for best rated wireless headphones on Amazon before making a purchase? Or wouldn't you want to use a curriculum that has an evidence base within your own classroom? Quantitatively evidence-based findings and research is necessary to make many decisions that we do throughout the day. Reliability is the dependability, meaning the consistency or stability of a measurement, a necessary condition for validity. There's different types of reliability. Stability produces the same results with repeated measures over time. Equivalence or internal consistency produces same results with parallel items on alternative forms. For example, when your seventh grade teacher said, don't cheat off your neighbor because there are four versions of the test. And then consistency. It produces the same results with different observers or raters such as inter-rater agreement that is commonly used with observations within educational research. Validity refers to the accuracy of infer inferences based on data obtained from the measurement. Technically, measures aren't valid, inferences are. And there's no such thing as validity in the abstract. The key issue is valid for what inference. And you want to reduce systematic non-random errors, and unreliability lowers correlations, reducing validity claims. The conventional view of validity <clears throat> can be one of four things. Face validity is the logical link between items and purpose, and this makes sense on the surface. Content validity <clears throat> is the items cover the range of meaning included in the construct or domain. As as obtained by expert judgment. Criterion validity is the relationship between performance on one measurement and performance on another, concurrent and predictive correlation coefficients. Construct validity directly connects measurement with theory. It allows interpretation of empirical evidence in terms of theoretical relationships. There's also a unified view of construct validity. It's that validity is not a property of an instrument, but rather of the meaning of the scores, and it must be considered holistically. There's six aspects that, are, that constitute construct validity evidence. First, content. Content relevance and representativeness. Second, substantive. Theoretical rationale for observed consistencies in test responses. Third, structural, the fidelity of scoring structure to structure of construct domain. Fourth, generalizability, generalization to the population and across populations. Fifth, external, convergent and discriminant, discriminant evidence. And finally, sixth, consequential, intended and unintended consequences of score interpretation, social consequence of assessment. Finding measurement instruments. This is something that some people struggle with. In this class, I've put together a list that is common within the field of literacy, but you may have your own list depending on what field you're actually in. And so for literacy professionals, I encourage you to scan the literacy education literature to see what others have used already. 
email other researchers in the field to network and to see what types of instruments they commonly use. Examine the literature for instruments used in the prior study, specifically looking for that. And then also look in general education databases, such as the Bureaus of Mental Measurements, the ERIC databases, ETS, etc. And finally, if you have to, construct your own. Get some expert consultation, use pilot testing, look into test writing, survey design, questionnaire construction, all those aspects and constructs go into appropriate measurement within the field of instrumentation.